Hello, I'm Bernard Thicke from interest.co.nz and I'm here today for our double shot interview with Rob Alloway, who's the Managing Director of Allied Farmers. Allied Farmers has made a bid for Hanover Finance's loans and on December the 16th, investors in Hanover Finance and United Finance will get to vote on that bid from Allied Farmers. Rob, can you explain to us what the bid is and how um, investors in Hanover and United um, what, what they'll get if they decide to give up control of those loans in those, in those companies. Yeah, sure. Our, our proposal is that um, essentially it's a two-step two process where Allied Farmers has made an offer for the, um, the debentures that are held by Hanover and United Investors and the Hanover Capital Note and Bondholders. Um, that bid ranges from uh, effectively offering the equivalent of uh, 78 cents for those Hanover investors um, 90 cents for the United investors and 30 cents for each of the bond and note holders. So then that would see Allied Farmers or Allied Farmers Invest Investments, which is a subsidiary company, acquire all those debentures. Those debentures would then be redeemed to uh, Hanover Group in return for the assets that sit underneath each of those, those businesses effectively, um, so including the shareholder support package. Yeah. So essentially they're, they're um, giving up their control of those Hanover loans for mm -hmm. shares in Allied Farmers. Exactly, exactly. Now, the last time we had a moratorium for Geneva Finance and people did the same thing, which was a debt for equity swap, mm -hmm. they got some shares in, in, in Geneva Finance that uh, they fell on the stock market. What's to stop the same thing happening to Allied Farmers shares when, when all these new shares come onto the market? Look, there's, there's absolutely nothing to stop uh, the, sh the share price going in free fall and uh, falling downward. Um, we see that, uh, that, however, we do ha actually have a strong diversified business as it stands at the moment. Um, clearly Allied Farmers has been around for a long, long time. The business is uh, 120 years old today. It's um, headquartered in Hara um, and loyally supported by 5,200 shareholders, 5,000 of whom I believe live in the Taranaki. Right. Um, if you have a look at that, those shares at the moment, the parcel that are out there right now, don't come on the market very often. Right. Um, I think you'll find there's circa 37 million shares, 37676905, mm -hmm. um, which are out there and most of the, the shares that we see traded today are generally estate sales, um, very tightly held. Once you see these uh, Hanover investors start to sell, yes, um, if there's panic selling the share price will go down. It's a simple buyer-seller equation. Um, however, there will be others that actually see that uh, the asset base hasn't changed, the share price has fallen on emotion and shares are now a very real bargain. Um, and uh, you might even say they're a bargain where they're at right now, um, depending on how you looked at it. Yeah. What makes you think you can manage these loans better than Mark Hodgson? Look, our drivers are, uh, are completely different than the Hanover owners and managers at the moment. Um, right now they're managing to return capital in a, in a constrained environment back to investors. Um, they've come out and announced that uh, you know best, best outcome for the Hanover side of it is 70 cents as an example, approximately. Best guess right now. Is that going to be 50 cents next year? Um, it's anybody's guess. Um, for the bond and note holders, it's zero right now, whereas we're offering them 30 cents. You know, we think our interests are completely aligned. I'm a shareholder in Allied Farmers, a, a very large one. I, I hold or control roughly uh, five and a half million shares. So the guy that gets 160,000 shares or 100,000 shares has exactly the same share class as me. Um, I'm motivated to deliver a result because uh, if those shares are worth more, every cent um, you do the sums, it's worth a lot of money to me. Uh, and what's your um, experience in running these sorts of uh, loans? I mean, what, what makes you think you'll, you'll be able to do it better than someone who, like Mark Hodgson, he says, um, really understands those loans and can sweat the best out of them? Yeah, look, uh, Hanover have done a great job of managing their loan book. Um, right. you know, from our perspective, uh, you know, they have run it. Um, but, yeah, we've, we've also had property loans and things. We've done the developments and uh, you know the subdivisions and things. Allied Farmers has been in some difficult uh, spots with Allied Nationwide Finance uh, over the last 12 to 24 months and it's managed to actually extract itself out of a few property deals as well. Um, good outcomes and actually realise yeah, good returns. So we do have those expertise in house. We've actually chosen uh, over the last couple of years as a business to run a very, very diversified portfolio of assets in our finance business. Um, you'll find that roughly 15% is property related, 
um, we're more heavily biased towards plant equipment, which tends to be a, a class of asset when you finance it that each month you are getting a payment of uh, interest and principal rather than the typical property development one, which is capitalised uh, you know, interest right at the end. Mm -hmm. So you don't know that you've lost your shirt till it falls due. Right. Um, so we run a completely different dynamic. The mixture of some of the handover loans that are performing in with allied nationwide finance, should it be approved by our trustee and treasury, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, just serves to strengthen and diversify our book even further. Um, and we believe it'll make allied nationwide a very, very strong finance company in New Zealand with a good capital base. So, yeah. now the Reserve Bank um, is going through the process of taking over the regulation of the non-bank sector, which mm -hmm. includes finance companies. Yes. At the moment, allied nationwide uh, has a government guarantee. What do we look for in the next year? Because um, uh, the guarantee period will, will end and um, there's uh, the prospect of finance companies needing credit ratings. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's your outlook there? Well, I guess, uh, you know, if you look at some of the things that the Reserve's bank, Bank's doing, um, you've got to wonder yeah, how much they love Tier 2 finance companies or are they, do they want to get rid of them altogether mm -hmm. um, and just have a banking sector. I guess uh, you know it's quite clear to um, get a, an extension of the Crown Guarantee, we've got to effectively have a BB or better rating. Um, would Allied Nationwide get that rating right now? It's unrated as it stands. Mm -hmm. um, no, emphatically I would say no. Mm -hmm. um, we've commenced the ratings process with a, a rating agency and uh, in fact I had an interview with them uh, maybe a month or so ago. Um, yeah, we, we would like to get our rating so that we have the decision whether we actually apply for an extension or not, but be rated. Um, obviously it comes at a cost. Uh, we calculate roughly 1.5% in funds. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the opportunity to off, offer perhaps um, rated, unrated investments um, in a tier 2 finance company as well. Yeah, the, the guarantee will probably extend for another, you know, another year for most finance companies, but uh, there may actually also be an exit away from that scheme led by... Uh, banks and others um, purely on cost. So. Will the combination of Hanover Finance loans mm -hmm. and United Finance loans with Allied Nationwide's book and the debt for equity swap mean you're more likely to get a, a double B or better credit rating? Oh look absolutely, we're, we're quite confident that with that increased equity and if you have a look at uh, the existing Hanover and United book as it stands right now, um, as at 30 June on audit, which is you know, the most recent audit information. Um, circa 17% was performing at that date. So if you do the calculation on the size of their book, it's quite a large wad of loans. Um, we would look to filter the very best loans in there with the very best security um, to apply to Allied Nationwide, which would lift its uh, capital ratio up to something which is leading in this segment in New Zealand. Um, and then we would expect to see that, uh, that ratio support a good credit rating. It's also worth noting there that uh, you know that those loans, after a, a share swap for these debentures, are equity. So if you put uh, say fifty million dollars of performing loans into a finance business as equity, and they're earning an average of twelve percent, um, that's an average of twelve percent net income because it is performing loans and equity. So the earnings uh, that come off Allied Nationwide go up quite markedly. Um, which in turn, you know, feed back into uh, yeah, the possibility of 